Good morning, beautiful people. Yes, the steering wheel is too cockeyed for me to put it up there. So I'm going to have to hold it by my hands today. I stopped at Sepco this morning, picked up their Texas pecan. That was the only one they had. Well, they had like a smidgen of their premium blend, but I'm like, mm, yeah, I don't think that's going to be enough for my cup. And I hate to pour it in there, and it's not enough. I have to pour it out and get something else. So, what else is everybody doing today? You know what I'm doing? I'm working. Now, I, after I, I went by Sevco, of course, I'm driving to my client's house. Have my car windows down because it is just too freaking heist. So... I had to turn around and put up my windows due to at the cemetery. They were mowing the grass. Now, I drive by this cemetery every single day. I have got to figure out what their routine is for when they're mowing grass. And my daddy is buried up here at this cemetery. I went and saw him about a month ago. Mm, three weeks ago, a month at the most. I went and saw and paid my respects to him. So, but I do. I drive by this cemetery every single day to get to work. Like I said, I got to figure out what their routine is for when they mow grass so I can keep my window up on those days. Now I have an instant allergy headache. And it's like all building up right in here in the center of my forehead. It's going to be one of those days, people. One of those days. I am mad about it. Mm -mm. No, but I do have a lot of running around, a lot of errands to run this afternoon. Now, I wanted to talk about something else. The guy that was living within our complex, him and his wife had moved out a couple months ago. The one that absolutely hated cats. I mean, couldn't stand them. Rather, this guy's off the chain. He would walk upstairs, scope out the parking lot, see the cat, quickly run downstairs and chase. She could be on the other side of the parking lot. And he would chase after her. And throw rocks. And every other mean thing that he could do to this cat, or any cat. Well, a few days ago, he showed up. He wasn't driving either one of the cars that they already had. Either he bought another car, or else he borrowed a car. He showed up, parked on the side of the complex, was watching me outside. He seen my husband walk back from the store, and then he backs up and takes off. Well, yesterday morning, he was driving a different car. I was outside, 5.30 in the morning. I was out there trying to wake up, start my day. He turns around. Well, see, when the car was pulling up, I heard the car. I wasn't thinking anything about it. You know, we live in a complex. There's people coming and going all the time. Well, I didn't hear a car door open. didn't hear a car door close. And I knew I heard it like two minutes before that. So I... Six sense intuition, whatever you want to call it, was telling me, get up, get up now. Because I was just sitting there on this little step that we have. So I immediately stood up, and I'm standing there in front of my door. And what happens? This guy had turned around, and he's just staring at me for a good minute. I mean... Eyeballing me. Then he starts the car. 
and backs up real slow. And then he takes off and makes a left hand turn down one of the avenues that's in our city. <sighs> I was telling one of my clients about it. She goes, girl, you need to watch your back. Really, watch your back. This guy has it out for you real bad. Watch your back. When I told my other client about it, she goes, girl, he's out for you. And they're both thinking that he might have a complex where he doesn't like women to talk back to him. When he ran up on me in the parking lot out there that day, I didn't cuss at him. I didn't yell at him. All I told him was, dude, you need to chill, please. That's all I said. That's all I said. But I did inform the property manager about that, and since they have a security camera facing that way, they went ahead and reviewed the security camera. Found out that I was telling the truth how he ran up on me, so they went ahead and called him to the office. He cussed out that property manager from here to Timbuktu and back again. So, he's just got a thing against women, period. He's got a thing against cats. I don't, I don't know what this cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs thing is. But... I just turned around in. I told my husband about it. He goes, I agree. Watch your back. This guy has really got it out for you. Really bad. And I, I am. I'm worried about my safety. Am I going to be jumpy up over it? Nah. Mm-mm. Uh -uh. My parents raised me to be strong and independent and an independent thinker for myself. Uh-uh. Dude, I am not worried about you. Bring it on. Bring it. Uh-uh. Not going to worry about you or anybody else. That's all I got to say about that. So, I'm sipping up on my coffee, trying to stay awake. Got an instant allergy headache. Can't take no Excedrin migraines for that. After my errands this afternoon... I'll take a couple Benadryls and be knocked the hell out. Hmm. Yeah. So, I haven't been really watching anything new on TV. Well, I don't watch TV at home. I don't have cable. But my clients do. Not really at their houses either. Mm -mm. I wasn't raised watching TV. My parents were like, you form your own opinions about things. So I never got to watch TV as a youngin. Kind of do once in a while now, not too often. But I do watch YouTube videos, and I'm just watching the same thing. Hmm. Oh, leave a comment, people. Tell me what y'all are doing today. I mean, it's here. It is really, really hot, people. Stay hydrated. Stay cool. Because this heat is no joke. It will kill you in a heartbeat. Stay very hydrated. I know I am. After I'm done with this coffee, I'm drinking water the rest of today. Having to deal with it. it it's, we've been up under this heat advisory for days. And we got like another week of it before it cools down into the high 90s. It's going to feel like a cold front. But... I don't run my air conditioning up in my car. Why should I? 
put down my windows. That's free air. But even the wind blowing up into the car, it's hot. It's a very hot, dry wind. So just be very, very careful with this heat advisory that we're under. I think most of the country is up under a heat advisory right now. It is, it's really hot. It is really hot. And man, I'll tell you what. And I already know it's going to be a hot summer. And we just, not even mid-July yet, tomorrow. And I see these huge grasshoppers. And I'm like, oh yeah. The only time I see those grasshoppers jumping around and everything is when it's going to be very hot. So y'all be careful out there. Extremely careful. Drink your water and stay cool. Y'all come back now you hear.